Hi guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, we're going to talk about comparing characters and strings in C++. So what we want to do is we want to understand, you know, what does it mean for A to come before B, right? Um, or one to come before two. We're going to talk about how C++ resolves that. Um, you know, for like, for example, if you're like in an if statement, you want to say, well, if the character A is less than the character exclamation point, is that true or false? I mean, how does that how does that work? Uh, and we're going to talk about that. And then uh, the other thing we're going to talk about is how uh, the strings get compared, right? So if you've got hello and world, okay, how does C++ figure out that hello should come before world? Okay, and um, spoiler alert, it's, it's basically done character by character, and there's uh, some rules that govern that. And so we'll just go over them real quick and... Uh, I'll write you a sample program just demonstrating some of these ideas and uh, we'll get you on your way, right? So should be a short and sweet one. So let's get started. Okay, so we got Visual Studio open here and we're gonna go ahead and try to compare some characters, right? So let's say that I've got um, you know, a couple of characters here, um, character A and B, those variables, and I'll initialize them with, um, you know, just uppercase A and uppercase B, okay? So if we have an if statement, right, we wanna see which comes before the other, right? So we can say something like, well, if A less than B, right? So that's comparing the contents of the A variable and the B variable. And so then we can say, you know, C out A uh, is less than um, B, right? Uh, otherwise, we can say, um, you know, C out that uh, B is less than A, okay? So yeah, I mean, we're just comparing these two, these characters against each other, okay? So if I run this, I'm gonna see what you'd expect. And um, that's that uh, A is less than B, right? I mean, that's, 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 duh, right? Um, but what's, what's happening? What's, what's actually going on here? Okay, well, what's actually going on um, is that, you know, because the computer, I mean, internally in memory, what's in memory? Is there like a little A in there or, or a little B, right? An actual character, A or B somewhere in, 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 in the RAM chip? No. Um, what happens is you have numbers, right? Because computers only know ones and zeros, okay? And so a combination of ones and zeros is going to add up to an integer of some kind, right? And so what happens is, is that this character literal is getting translated or being stored or represented in memory as an integer, okay? So the integer for uppercase A is 65. Okay, and the integer for uppercase B is um, is uh, 66. And so what you're really doing is you're saying, well, is 65 less than 66? Well, yeah, right, 65 is less than 66. So this thing values the true. And so then you um, execute the block of code that executes if it's true. And so you can see that by doing, you know, by casting the character into an integer. So, you know, you can do something like this, and that'll show us um, the integer value for uppercase A, right? So there it is, there's 65, okay? Um, and then similarly, if we wanted to, you know, show the uppercase B, you know, there's your 66. Now, you know, we're not limited to just character variables. I mean, we could have, used the uh, literals too, and it would tell you the same thing. You know, it's gonna be the same. Because whether it's a literal or a variable, what's in memory is the ASCII code. They're called ASCII codes, the integer representation. And so, you know, this right here will show us the ASCII code um, stored in memory, right? And so you can look up, you know, search for the ASCII table, and you can see all the codes there are. I mean, there's like 
256 or 255 some odd ASCII codes. I mean, I don't know how many exactly there are. I don't have it memorized. And, um, you know, why would you? You can just look it up on a table or you can just do what I'm doing right here, right? Um, what's the ASCII code for the character one? Well, I'll show you, right? We'll convert that character one and it's the character one because there's single quotes around it. Not, it's not, that's not an integer, right? If you got quotes around, it's not an integer, it's a, it's a character. So what's the ASCII code for integer one, 49. So what if I was to, you know, assign to A, a character A here, um, you know, one, and then I assigned to the character variable B over here, and I'll leave it at B, right? And then I compare the two against each other. Is uh, the character one less than B? Um, yeah, because it has a smaller ASCII code. The ASCII code for character one is 49, okay? Um, now, uh, you know, what is the uh, ASCII code for lowercase a, right? Um, is lowercase a going to be less than uppercase b? Uh, no, it says here that uppercase b is less than a. Wait, what? Um, why? Because, again, the ASCII code for uppercase B is less than the ASCII code for lowercase a. So what's the uh, ASCII code for lowercase a? It's like 100 and something, if I remember right, which I might not. Let's see. That's 97. I was off by a couple. So the ASCII code for 97, or for uh, character A is 97. What is it for um, B? 66. So is... Um, 97 less than 66? No, so it's false. So it kicks down here and tells us that uh, that uh, you know that uh, B is less than is less than A. Okay, so that's so that's how that works, right? Now, what if we want to um, compare strings against each other? Okay, so let's do that. Okay, let's do a pound include string here, and uh, let's clean this up and uh, create a couple of string variables. Okay, so string. Um, string what? I'll just I'll just call it uh, S1, and uh, we'll make that Mary, and then uh, S2, we'll make that uh, Mark. Okay, and let's see if Mary comes before Mark. Right. So if S1 is less than S2, then uh, what? Okay, and this works for string variables. For string literals, it wouldn't work the same because of how strings are represented in memory. But when we're comparing string variables, okay, we're gonna say uh, C out S1 comes before S2, right? Else, you know, if that's not true, then uh, we'll flip that around. Okay, we'll say uh, S2 comes before S1. Okay, so let's see what our let's see what our result is here. Oops. Go ahead and compile. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there you go. So it tells us that Mark comes before Mary, right? So this test expression on line 10 is false because Mary is not less than Mark, right? So we kick down to the else and we say that Mark comes before Mary. So S2 comes before S1. So how did um, C++ figure that out? Right now, there's no word Mary inside a RAM chip. There's no word Mark inside a RAM chip. All we got are the ones and zeros. Okay, well, what happens is this. Okay, in memory, I'll make uh, some comments here. Okay, what you have is, um, stop it. You've got, um, You've got an array of characters, essentially. You've got, uh, you've got these characters right next to each other. M, A, R, and Y, okay? Now, for each one of these characters, there is the ASCII code, whatever it may be. So let's, let's, let's see what it is for Mary, okay? So we'll go through and we'll write a little for loop here for um, int i equals zero, i less than, S1 dot uh, size uh, I plus plus okay and uh, we'll just oops forgot my um, for 
parentheses there. Okay, so we'll just go through and we'll do that data conversion thing again. Um, so C out um, static cast as an int um, S1 of uh, I. Okay, so that's going to show us all of the ASCII codes. Um, and I'll put a space in between them. Uh, da, da, da. And put a space for them. So that'll show us all the ASCII codes, right? For M, for the uppercase M, the uppercase A, uppercase R, uppercase Y. Okay. <clears throat> so those are the ASCII codes. So 77, 97, 114, 121. Okay, now let's do the same thing, but for mark, right? So I'll just copy and paste this code. Okay, and we'll do that for the second string. Okay, so we'll do that. And um, let's go ahead and run that side by side. Go ahead and run it, and we'll see the ASCII code side by side, right? So the first line here is all the ASCII codes for Mary, as I showed you previously. So the second line is all the ASCII codes for all the characters in Mark. So which comes before which? Well, what C++ does is it goes character by character comparing, okay, until it can determine if one is less than the other, right? So, you know, we're comparing Mary versus Mark. Well, is 77 less than 77? Well, that's false. Are there more characters to look at? Yeah, so you move over to the next set of ASCII codes, right? So Mary versus Mark, you're comparing the A's against each other, 97 versus 97, well, that's false. So let's look at the next set of numbers, right? So comparing the R's against each other, it's 114 less than 114, well, that's false, right? So then you go to the next set, it's 121 less than 107, well, that's false, right? They're not the same, so you can easily say, well, 107 is less than 121, right? Or 121 is greater than 107. And so then based off of that, that decision is made, right? So now we can have a definitive answer. S2 is, um, you know, the uh, mark, I should, put, I should put it here in comments, right? S1 equals Mary and uh, S2 equals mark, right? So in um, S2, the K has got a value of 107. In S1, the Y there in Mary, it's got 121. So Y is not less than K. We have a definitive answer here. There's no longer ties anymore. And so then this entire thing, S1 less than S2, is going to evaluate to false. And then you kick down to the else. And then, you know, it gives us the answer that Mark comes before Mary. Okay, so you're comparing the ASCII codes side by side, one at a time. Okay, now what happens if... Um, one of the strings is longer than the other, right? So let's say, um, let's say Marky uh, Mark. Okay, let's run it and then see the, the results here and see if it tells us who comes before who, right? Now, if you look at the ASCII codes, everything is the same up through the first four characters, right? So at that point, it's kind of inconclusive. If um, they were exactly the same, it would be false and would tell us, um, you know, it would kick down and say that Mark comes before Mark because of the way we wrote this. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. But right now, you know, you got all these ties and, uh, you know, the uh, 121 is left over for Marky, for S1, right? So S1 became Marky. And so since they're all the tie up through the first four characters, the string that's longer, that one is considered uh, coming later. That one's considered greater. So when you've got a tie for all the characters up to a certain point, the string that has more characters in it is considered greater, is considered greater. Or on the flip side, the string that uh, has fewer characters, if there's a tie up to those, you know, up to the length of one of the strings is considered less than. Okay. Um, now, let's fix this now before we can say, what happens if they're both exactly the same? All right. Well, then we could say um, else if S1 
is greater than S2, right? And then finally we can have an else down here that says, well, they're both the same. And we're going to see that they're just going to say they're both. It's going to it's going to report that they're both the same, because according to this scheme that I just described for you, you know this is going to be false. This is going to be false, right? Because if they're both mark, right? Well, then according to this, you know, algorithm, according to this methodology, according to this scheme, this is going to evaluate to false. This is going to evaluate to false. And so since both of these are false, we have no choice but to get down to this else here. So let's go ahead and do it. It should tell us that they're the same. Oops, I got a syntax error here. What is it? Uh, let's see how they are the same. Uh, why are you? Why do you care? Oh, end line. Forgot the L. Sorry. Uh, do, 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 do. Those of you watching the video probably picked it up. But that's the benefit of buddy programming, right? So you can see they're the same. So the lengths are the same. All the ASCII codes are exactly the same. You know, neither of these um, less than or greater than is going to evaluate the true. Um, they're both false. Because since they're the same, there's no pair of ASCII codes being compared that's less than or greater than the other. And so neither of these are going to evaluate the true. They're both false. And so then we can kick down to our else. Okay. So... Just to summarize, it's based off of the ASCII codes. It's based off of the ASCII codes. So if you're comparing individual characters against each other, it's just one ASCII code versus the other. Now, if you're comparing string variables, then you just go character by character comparing those ASCII codes, you know, as, until you don't have a tie, right? And then uh, whoever's ASCII code is bigger, um, you know, once there's not a tie anymore, is considered bigger. You know, coming afterwards. So Mary is considered bigger than Mark because where they differ, the Y is bigger than the K, right? But if they were the same, you know, for the entire first string, okay, the string that's longer is considered bigger. That's it. Okay. All right. So that's all I have for okay, you. Okay. So that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.